Hey guys, welcome to another video. Before I get started, I just want to say that today's video is going to be not like serious. I mean, it's going to be a little bit more serious um, compared to like my other videos, which are more lighthearted. Um, this it does have to do with something that happened with my son. Everybody's okay. He's fine. Our family's okay. But if you just... Um, aren't into like more serious kind of videos then this might not be the video for you if you're looking for like more lighthearted um stuff then you can check out my other videos that i've uploaded but just this is going to be a little bit more serious something scary that happened to us a few nights ago um and again another thing that i want to say before i get started is me and Jose know that we're great parents we love our son very very much and we do everything in our power to keep him safe and protect him um, but mistakes do happen and it happened to us um, and we just don't need to hear anything negative in the comments um, because we are doing our best and we're trying to go above and beyond our best to take care of our child so if you have anything negative to say just know that that is not welcome um, we are of course constructive criticism is fine tips suggestions help anything like that we welcome with open arms but just negative hate um, you can take that somewhere else because that's not welcome on this channel. I think today's the 9th. This happened on Friday night of July the 5th. Um, the story that I'm about to tell you. I'm going to try really hard not to get emotional because um, it was just very scary. Well, anyway, so if I start crying, I'll try to cut it out or anything like that. So it was just a normal day. I don't remember what we did. I think we were at home. I worked, whatever. So it's time for bed. So this story happens at night. So it's time to go to bed and me and Jose alternate and we take turns putting JJ to bed. So he'll do it, then I'll do it. And we just switch and go on like that. And it was Jose's turn to take uh, JJ to bed. So he put him to bed and we always, um, in, right now he's sleeping in our room, um, in his crib. And we are actually sleeping in the guest room because we find that he sleeps better if he if we're not sleeping in the room with him and we just haven't moved the crib into his room he has his own room but we just have to like disassemble the crib and take it apart and put it so we just haven't done that we have a guest bedroom that has a bed in it so we're just sleeping in there until we you know just want to do it and move him into his own room um so jose went upstairs changed his diaper put him on a nighttime diaper put him in his pajamas and put him to bed that was around i think eight usually we put him to bed around 7 30 that night i don't know why i think we put him to bed a little bit later i think it was like maybe eight um so we put him to bed jose put him to bed and then we stayed up a little bit we usually stay up take advantage um you know because you don't get a lot of alone time when you have a kid so we take advantage that he goes to sleep before us we stay up for a little bit and then we went upstairs and we went to bed uh we woke up um well we have a monitor that i put next to me because also is a super heavy sleeper but i wake up like that um anytime i hear like even just wrestling just like jj wrestling around in the crib so it was like around 10 30 and he woke up um and I usually go tend to him but I don't know why I told Jose to go get him. I don't know if maybe I really don't remember. I think I just because Jose doesn't always work on Saturday, so I was like, oh, he's not working, let me just let him go get him. So he got up to go get him, to go try to put him back to sleep, and again, this was like around 10.30. And so, but I was still like just laying awake in bed, just like waiting for him to come back to bed. And um, he, he didn't even take that long, like it wasn't a long time that had passed, but something just told me like, go like go see if he needs help like go check on jj or whatever so i walk into the room my heart's pounding i'm gonna get emotional i can already tell he i walk into the room and i just smell cream like i smell like we use the desitin the the butt cream for babies like the rash cream not butt cream the rash cream and the purple um container and i just smelled that like really strong and I was like, what? And Jose was not in the room. He was in the restroom because it's the master bedroom and it has its own restroom. The light was on in there and he was in there. And I was like, why does it smell like cream? And I just hear Jose and Jose just tells me I fucked up. I was like, what are you talking about? And it was dark. Like the only light that was on was the one in the restroom. And so I turn on, we have like a lamp. We turn, I turned on the lamp and I just see cream 
all around like on JJ's crib and it's like all on the railing and it's just like everywhere and I was just like I fucked up I fucked up and then I I turned to look at Jose and he's holding JJ and JJ's just covered in cream and he's just like it's a white cream like it's really thick so JJ has it all over his face it's in his hair he looks super pale and at first like I was just like oh my god like I like obviously like I care about the safety of my child but my first instinct was like it was a mess like it was there was cream everywhere I was like oh my god like that was my first thought was like oh my god like this is a mess like we're gonna have to clean this and it's like 10 30 at night which is not late but it's like late for us and I'm like what the heck like we're gonna have to clean all of this and then and then like I snapped and I was like did he eat this like we need to like did he eat this and I looked he had it all over his hands and JJ puts everything into his mouth like right away like anything he grabs it he puts it I was like he had to have eaten it like he had to and so that's when I started to get worried and like um we were like about to like take off to the hospital I was like no wait hold on call poison control first so I told him, look on the container and see if there's a poison control number. And there wasn't. So I was like, okay, we'll just Google it. Thank God for Google. Um, he Googled our local poison control because I think each state has like their own or whatever. And so he called poison control. And I'm just there like holding JJ. Like I'm so scared at this point. Because this, I mean, we don't, we, this is our first kid. Like we've never had to call poison control before. Like for anybody, like, like we know not to eat things we're not supposed to and so like just the not knowing and i'm like okay well like it's a product for kids but it's like it's not medicated but like it's a skin product like i'm pretty sure like there's stuff that's bad in there that he's not supposed to have and so i'm holding jj i'm trying to like wipe all this cream off of him because he just looks so scary he just looks like pale like a ghost like he has so much cream on him so i'm trying to like clean it off with the white beat and i'm holding him i'm sitting on the bed with him and he just looks like I could tell that he didn't look okay like he looked like out of it a little bit not out of it but he just didn't look like and he, again it was at night so he was like still super tired so anyways Jose calls pose and control he has them on speaker and he, he tells them what happened it's a lady that answered a um, very nice lady and he tells them that he got into the desi theme and she tells him like she was like, oh okay like she's like i'm pretty sure she's heard this before because she knew like right away like what to tell us and she says it's not toxic and which was just like <laughs> like a big like sigh of relief like we were fully ready to like take him to the hospital to the emergency room i was like he's gonna have to get his stomach pumped he's gonna have to be admitted into the hospital I was like fully like mentally preparing for that kind of a night um but no he called and they, she said it's not toxic that it was just gonna have like a laxative effect so like he was gonna get diarrhea he could have some vomiting um and just to keep him hydrated just to mo and she said you can just monitor him at home obviously like if it gets bad like then you can you know make your own judgment call um but she said that like other than those two things like the diarrhea and the nausea that he should be fine um so that's it Jose hangs up the phone and I just immediately break down I started crying um because as a mom like you just think the worst and I didn't know like I said like I thought we were gonna have to take him to the hospital I was like what if it's too late like what if he ate too much and like your mind just goes to like the darkest places But he, so thank God it was non-toxic. And so that was like the first part of the night. Like that initial scare was like, um, like just of not knowing what was going to happen. And so, okay, we, we like calmed down like from the initial like shock of what happened. And Jose starts to clean the crib and I'm just there like holding JJ, like rocking him. And like Jose cried too, like Jose like, Jose felt really bad because he left the cream. I didn't even explain how he got to the cream. Um, so it's his crib. And then on the side of his crib, it has a changing table where you can lay and change the baby. Um, and then underneath 
it's the changing table and then underneath there's like a little shelf compartment where you can just like store things so usually i have the cream in that little area that shelf area because jj cannot reach in there and it's right next to our bed because it's his crib the changing table that's attached to the crib and then our bed right here so it's right next to it so i can just grab things like his diapers his white beads the cream and everything um so when Jose went to change his diaper at night, he was changing his diaper here on the bed. I think he had the cream on the bed and JJ tried to grab the cream. So Jose grabbed it and instead of putting it on the shelf, he put it on the top, like where the changing table's at, which if JJ stands up in the crib, he can reach because it's right here. JJ stands up, the changing table's right here. JJ's super tall and he can reach. Um, again, I don't blame my husband. Like I said, mistakes happen. Like, it could have happened to me like it could have happened to anybody so i don't blame him like he felt so bad like he was crying like because he felt so bad that like he did that and again it was an accident um so i just kept like reassuring and telling him like it's not your fault it was an accident this doesn't make you a bad dad like it's okay like don't let this like like haunt you don't let this like just don't like dwell on it too much so anyways we start cleaning Jose starts cleaning the crib I keep cleaning JJ off and I'm just holding him hugging him like rocking him telling him like it's okay and I can tell like he doesn't feel good like I can tell he looks like I don't know like how to say it in English like really aguitado like without fuerzas and so I I didn't know what to do I was like do I just hold him do I try to put him back to sleep so I held him for a little bit and he looked just super tired. So I was like, okay, well, let me put him in the crib. Maybe he wants to, you know, just go to sleep. So I put him in the crib and then me and Jose step out of the room. We didn't go to back to the guest room. I literally stood outside the door. He was crying for a little bit, but I couldn't tell if it was like just a tired cry or like a he didn't feel good cry. Like it wasn't discernible enough to me. So usually when I put JJ down for a nap, like right now he's napping and he cried for like 30 minutes before he fell asleep. I couldn't even let him cry for like five minutes. I was like, no, like I need to go back in there. So something told me to just go back in there and I grabbed JJ and I just held him and I was fully prepared to just hold him all night long. Um, so maybe like 10 minutes goes by after we get off the phone with poison control he's like uh, asleep in my arms and i'm just holding him and like i said maybe 10 minutes goes by and like i can hear like his stomach gurgling and like you know like when you're gagging like when you need to throw up like you just start kind of like like that noise like that happened and then he started throwing up and it was a lot of throw up and he's never thrown up he's never been sick he's never had the flu he's never had the cold the most he's ever been like sick and i don't even consider it sick it's like boogers like from allergies like seasonal allergies so he and i'm just like he doesn't know what's going on like he doesn't know why he feels like this he doesn't know why he feels sick he's never felt like this and I know like when we're like when I'm sick like it sucks to throw up like that's one of the worst like things like I feel like is when you're sick and you're just throwing up and throwing up and it hurts and it doesn't feel good and it just makes you feel like shit and so I can only imagine like how my poor little dead month old baby is experiencing this for the first time and he doesn't know why like he doesn't know that he's sick like he just knows that he feels bad and so i'm just doing what i can and at this point i'm like in a bra and underwear like that's it um because he's just throwing up and he's throwing up all over me and i don't care i'm holding him like on my chest and he's throwing up i put him over like i lean him over and he's throwing up all over the floor i don't care like i just want him to feel safe and like know that i'm there while he feels sick and then the diarrhea kicks in and at this point too we had already changed him like twice once to get the cream off like because the pajama he had was full of cream so we changed him and then after the first time he and then i changed him into pajamas then he threw up the first time so i changed him into another set of pajamas 
um, no, he threw up the first time, so then I took him just off those pajamas. So he's already been through two pajamas at this point. I was like, I don't know if, like, how long this is gonna happen, like, how long he's gonna keep throwing up. So I just had him in a diaper. And so we're, I'm holding him. I'm, we have a rocking chair in the room, so I'm just like rocking him back and forth. And he just looks so, like, like exhausted and so, like, not good like but not to the point like where i felt we need to take him to the hospital like we we stayed at home the whole night it was just like you know when you throw up and you're just like ugh, like you just feel so tired and done so i was just holding him and then i felt something on my leg and so he had diarrhea and it was literally like just water and cream like the cream was just going through him so he like diarrhea all over my leg like it went through the diaper um so that and I was just like how like I I wasn't like wondering how long it was gonna go on because like I wanted to go to bed or anything like that I just like wanted it to be over so like my baby could sleep and my baby could feel better so I oh and then I called my mom like as soon as we got off the phone with poison control like that way she knew what was going on like I called my mom for everything so I told my mom what happened just so that way she knew what was going on um and so we were just doing our best to keep JJ hydrated. We were giving him water. He loves water in his sippy cup. He knows how to drink through a straw. So we have him um, sippy cups, but with like a straw. So we were giving him water. I was breastfeeding him. I was nursing him, trying to like calm him down because like they comfort nurse. It makes him feel safe. It makes him feel comfortable. So I was trying to do that. And so he threw up a total of three times and he diarrhea um, like through two diapers. And all in all, I think that lasted maybe like 30 minutes, 45 minutes max. I don't even think it was that long. We tried to, after he threw up the first two times, then we tried to like lay down in the bed that's in the master bedroom. Um, and then that's when he threw up the third time and he threw up like all over the bed. And so we couldn't sleep there anymore. And so, that was the third and final time he threw up and so we went to the guest room and he stayed with us he hasn't slept on the bed with us in like a good few months and like he's been sleeping in his crib and that's the first night he slept in the bed with us in a while and i was like he has to like i cannot let my baby like think that he just went through this like whenever you're sick even when you're a kid even like when you're older like you're sick you just want your mom you just want your parents you just want them to hug you so he slept with us in the bed um, he woke up the next day completely fine. He woke up in such a good mood. He woke up like ready to play. He was like jumping on the bed. He had never been in the guest room before. Um, so it was like a whole new like space for him. So he woke up on the bed like excited and just jumping around on us. So that just made us feel like a lot better knowing that he was better and that this wasn't gonna like extend to the next day um he had a little bit of cream like in his diaper like when he pooped in the morning and i think maybe like one more one more time throughout the day but it was not like diarrhea um no 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 i'm lying yes it was um but he didn't have like any other symptoms like he didn't seem like his stomach hurt he wasn't in a particularly grumpy mood or anything like that we just had a dinner for my cousin's birthday on saturday the 6th um the 6th at night like not at night i think we went like at six o'clock but we spent the day at my mom's house and he was completely fine he wasn't like i said in a bad mood or anything like that just when it was time to go to the dinner he hadn't napped that great for throughout the day but that i don't think that was attributed to like his stomach or anything like that he was just in a little grumpy mood and then he like diarrhea all over like it went through his diaper it went through his shorts and it got like all over me right when we get to the dinner um I just like we sat down at the table and I, I felt something I was wearing like an off the shoulder that has nothing to do with it I just felt though like I guess because like I didn't have sleep so like I felt like wet on the side because I was carrying JJ like this and I moved him and I felt wet and I was like what is that and I looked down at his shorts and he had stuff on there I was like did he throw up but then it was diarrhea um, with the cream like in it so that was the last time that he that that like I guess that was the last of it that came out of his system um and so that was that and he's completely better now thank god he it's or like I said it's Tuesday this happened Friday night <clears throat> 
So all in all, it was a very traumatic experience. I'm not trying to be dramatic or exaggerate or anything like that, but it was honestly the worst night of my life, the hardest night of my life. And I would not wish that like fear or pain like on anybody because it was so scary like again the first like the initial shock of like what's gonna happen what is this how much did he eat are we too late and then just the second half of the night or the second half of like the situation is just like watching your baby be sick and you can't do anything about it all you can do is just hold them and you know how it feels yourself to be sick and then for a little baby i mean he's he's still my little baby like even though he's huge and he's already 10 months um you know how you feel when you're sick and then for a baby to go through that and they don't know why at least when you're older you're like okay i'm sick this is what's gonna happen i'm probably gonna have to throw up i'm probably gonna have to go to the bathroom but when you're a baby you don't know and they don't know why like it just starts to happen and then to hear like the throw up coming out and it was not a little bit like it was a lot it was like projectile um so that was horrible the worst night of my life but we're glad that he's okay and that i'm not in any way happy that it happened like if it never would have happened i would be so fine with it but it really was like a humbling and an eye-opening experience because as horrible as it was as traumatic as it was it was one night their parents that like their babies are born and they have to go straight into the NICU and they're there for months and you have to sit there and watch your baby in an incubator you can't touch your baby or there are babies that later when they're children or even when they're just a little bit older babies they get cancer like you see the commercials for the kids on St. Jude and you just put your you think like you put yourself in their position of like having to watch your baby be sick and as horrible as this one night was i could not imagine having to go through that for like an extended period of time and like not knowing when it's gonna end because just those few like 30 minutes i was like when is this gonna end like when is my baby gonna feel better when is he gonna be okay so to think that there are parents that have to go through this for weeks days months like it's just i'm so appreciative that we have a healthy baby and my heart goes out to families that have to go through something like that obviously not like what we went through but like any illness like chronic illness in general because it does take a lot of strength and willpower and faith to see your baby sick and be strong enough to get through it and to push through it so i just am have like a new appreciation for the fact that we have a healthy baby and now we know and we are so careful because we know that this little kid he gets into everything literally anything that there is on the floor like i said it goes straight into his mouth he likes to open cabinets we don't have like we have an entertainment center in our living room it has like shelves where you can put like decorations and stuff it's empty like there's nothing on it because he just like throws everything off he takes stuff off he is just a little tasmanian devil so we are already like super careful and now we just know like we've learned our lesson and now okay we have to be like even more careful like we cannot there's no room for slip ups when it comes to your child when it comes to your baby because it could have been worse like luckily it was you know something that was non-toxic but it could have easily been something that wasn't and it I could have just it could have just been so much worse and I don't even want to think about that because I literally like will like have a panic attack um but yeah so we learned our lesson that we need to like literally not have anything in his reach that he can get into to double check ourselves um and we just are so grateful for the life that we have our baby that he's healthy and if you're a parent that has ever slipped up or made a mistake, 
it's okay mistakes happen obviously if it keeps happening and keeps happening and your baby keeps getting hurt then okay like maybe there's something you need to look into but if there's like if you've ever made like a mistake like once here and there like it's okay we're human we're parents which are like super humans because it's like crazy being a parent and if anything if this means anything like i'm here for you my inbox is always open you can follow me on instagram message me I'm not trying to plug my instagram but like if you have like i know there's a lot of moms out there that don't have the support group that i am so blessed and lucky to have i have my family um but a lot of people are not as fortunate so my inbox is always open if anybody needs to talk if you just need someone if you need advice or whatever i mean i don't know how qualified i am to give you advice i can just give you like from experience um and sadly now we have this experience to add which i wish we didn't but we do um but yeah so i'm here if you ever need any advice or help or just want to talk or if you made a mistake and you just need to tell somebody and like you feel bad about it so i'm sorry if this video was a little bit more serious but this is real life this is the truth being a mom being a parent single mom working mom whatever any kind of parent um is not always just what you see on instagram with those cute moms going to picnics or going to brunch with their children this is is the reality mistakes like this happen you just have to learn from them and keep going and just love your baby as much as you can make sure that they know that they're safe and they're loved um so yeah hopefully this i mean it better not be the norm like i really hope this never ever happens again um so hopefully i won't have to be making another video like this at all is the goal but anytime soon you know because again this is life like shit happens um but yeah so we're all okay now jj's great i mean except for today he's being really fussy i don't know why he woke up at 7 20 and he was just ready to go he woke up in a good mood and then he took like a 30 minute nap because he woke up super early and i was like okay he's probably gonna nap for like two hours no he napped for 30 minutes and then he woke up all grumpy so he's taking his second nap of the day already and it's only like noon um but he's doing great i don't know how to end this video i feel like i'm just going in circles so i'm just gonna stop here um all my you know instagram twitter all that stuff is down below i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was informative eye-opening anything i hope it just if this video could help at least just one person or just like make one person feel like because i know i feel like i'm really hard on myself and that i'm like oh my god i'm such like i could be such a better mom but the like the reality is as long as you're trying your best and like again you're making sure your baby knows that he's he or she is loved you are doing great like you're an amazing parent and but i know i can be hard on myself so if this video can help another mom another dad not be so hard on themselves and know that like stuff like this happens to other people then that makes me happy so i will leave y'all with that and i will see y'all in my next video bye